sorry, didn't see you there. Welcome back to my channel, and today I would like to share with you all my top five favorite series of all time. Come with me as we experience this journey together. Oh my god, that was tacky. That was really tacky. <laughs> reading people how's it going so as I said I wanted to share my top five all-time favorite series with you guys two of these should not be hard to guess I feel like you guys might be able to get three I know for sure you'll get the top two so without further ado let's get started so coming in hot at number five is the Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. Now, it is not a secret that I am not the biggest fan of the Mortal Instruments series. However, I do have to give full credit to the fact that it is a great setup for Cassandra Clare's later works, which I am a massive fan of. I do fully believe that the Infernal Devices will take over as one of my top five spots. However, without having read Queen of Air and Darkness, it's not really fair to put it into these categories. So number five is the amazing Will Harrendale and the rest of the people in these books. Coming in at number four is the Delirium Trilogy by Lauren Oliver. Now you guys have no idea how much it bothers me that my first book does not match the other two, but it is a crutch that I shall bear. I love the Delirium Trilogy, not the biggest fan of how Requiem ended, however it is open-ended enough that I kind of am able to make my own assumptions and thoughts on based on what I know of the story in this world. I love this whole concept of love being illegal and what the world would be if it was gone. This series really makes you question what love is, what it is to love, various other aspects that go along with that. I highly recommend this to so many people, especially if you're looking for a dystopian that has more of a real life feel to it than maybe some other ones. Coming in at number three is a duology that I have actually read very recently. No surprise whatsoever, I am talking about the Monsters of Verity duology. This series was mind-blowing to me. The monsters, the being dark versus being light, just every kind of issue that went into these books. I think Victoria Schwab just nailed it out of the park. I just, I was blown away by these books and I thoroughly believe that they will stay in my top five for a very, very long time. Coming in at number two is the Relentless series by Karen Lynch. Now, if you do not know anything about these books and you might be interested because I can't shut up about them, my recommendation is to start with the original trilogy. You have Relentless, Refuge, and Rogue. Now if you are interested in these, I believe currently at the time of posting this video, this trilogy is available on Amazon for $6.99. I'm not sure if that changes or is going to change, but I know as of the time of posting this video that is correct. So we do have the original trilogy, and then adding on to that is Warrior, which is the same trilogy again except from the point of view of our main male character. Then we move on to Haven, which is a spin-off book for another character who is in the original trilogy and warrior. However, he is a lower character, but we do finally get his story. And after that, we have Faded, which is the story of the male protagonist's best friend. Friend. And currently, I, there is not a release date, but the next book, Hellion, is coming out, which is another spin-off book. So there are a ton of books in this series. When I say that these books are in my all-time favorites, I am mainly talking about the first four. These are amazing. I never in a million years will get over these original four. They are what sparked my interest back into reading. So these are absolutely ones that I will highly recommend. If you want to know more about these, I will include a description of the first book down in the description below. And coming in at number one at my all time favorite series in the history of ever should be no surprise to anybody if you know me whatsoever. And that is the unbelievably gorgeous Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. You guys know I adore this series. I am still not emotionally ready for Kingdom of Ash, but it is okay. We will power through it with all the sobs and all the tears. So I hope you guys enjoyed this countdown. Let me know down in the comments some of your guys' all-time favorite series. As always, guys, make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you give my channel a subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. As always, make sure you guys read on, and I will see you next time.